April 30th. That is the new date for South Carolina children to mark on their calendars. According to the governor and superintendent of education, South Carolina schools will remain closed for at least another month. That's the word today from Governor McMaster and State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman. They released a joint statement this afternoon that reads in part, at this time, students, parents, and families should plan for South Carolina schools to remain closed through the month of April. Our dedicated teachers and school administrators have done a tremendous job in making it possible for our students to learn at home. The statement goes on to say they understand that the prospect of schools remaining closed for an extended period of time places stress and strain on parents and children. Rest assured, if there is any way to safely open schools earlier, they will do that, but schools must remain closed to protect the health and safety of South Carolinians. The governor says that he plans on signing an executive order in the coming days that will close schools through April. Education officials tell us that school bus drivers, food services, soup food service providers, I should say, and teachers will still be getting paid during the closure during yesterday's briefing with the governor, Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman said education officials are discussing what the rest of the year could look like. And we anticipate that this week we will be coming out with an action plan on things like how are we going to handle graduation. Uh, you know we announced today that we will suspend all spring testing. And that also includes testing like the end of course tests that students take when they're in high school on biology, history. So all of those uh, announcements are on our website. We're doing everything we possibly can to make this as smooth as possible uh, with our students and our faculty and our teachers uh, at, at the top of the priority list. The governor says he is encouraging schools, universities, and technical colleges to continue existing plans to provide instruction through virtual learning. Well, there is the threat.